Vegetarians can't eat anywhere. It's so hard for vegetarians to eat out. Not really. I mean, let me give you the tips and we'll figure it out. I'm Liz with Veggie Every Day. I've been a vegetarian for 22 years and I'm here to give you tips about vegetarian life, whether you're a vegetarian, you're cooking for a vegetarian, taking care of a vegetarian, or just trying to eat a little less meat. I'm here to give you the tips that you need to eat on the go without eating meat. And even these, some of these even surprise my friends because it's taken me, you know, you'll learn the tips as you go. So stay tuned. Okay, my first tip is to get a little bit of perspective. It's actually a lot easier to eat out than you would think because you are in control. Unlike a potluck or a planned menu dinner where you have no choices, at a restaurant you get to order whatever you want so you have the power to decide what you want and that definitely makes it easier. And it may be frustrating at first but once you put some of these tips into play, it'll be easy peasy. The next thing is you can eat almost anywhere. Um, but the beauty is today, almost all menus are online, even if they don't have it on their website, which by the way is lame. If you're a restaurant and you don't have your menu online, I come on anyway, but it's cool because you know, with social media, we've got such a helping, sorry to exaggerate, but like there are helpful people that upload menus to Yelp, to menu picks, to all sorts of sites, even if there's not an official one on the site then you know it's pretty easy to find your options. You can also call ahead. I hate talking on the phone, so I never do this because I've been doing it for so long. I know I'm gonna be able to find vegetarian options, but if you're really, really nervous that a place that you're going that someone else has picked isn't gonna have anything for you to eat, call them and ask them. The third thing is that a few things that might seem like they'd be really safe might not always be safe. The first thing is soups, and that's because a lot of times they'll use beef or chicken broth, even when it's really surprising. I tried to order tomato basil soup at Applebee's one time, and it just happened that I knew someone that worked there who was a friend, and so he's like, Liz, there's beef broth in the tomato basil soup, and I was like, why the, in tomato basil soup? Like, seriously, but watch out. So if there's a soup, ask what the base is, ask if there's any animal broth in it, and then avoid it. You know, if you're not that strict of a vegetarian and that doesn't matter to you, that's your prerogative. But I personally, I don't do animal broth and soups. And the same thing goes with when you're in the store, luckily like Progresso has started labeling theirs, which ones are vegetarian, which is very helpful, but a lot of them don't. So you have to look through the ingredients and just check. The next one that can be a little tricky is salads because even if it says it's a simple side salad or a house salad, a lot of times they will just throw bacon on it or I don't eat eggs. If you don't eat eggs, they'll just throw eggs on it. So just ask, is there any bacon? Is there any eggs? Is there any meat at all? If you're vegan, obviously, is there any cheese? Every restaurant has a very different definition of what their basic or house or side salad is. So definitely, definitely ask when you're looking at salads. Another tip, and this is one that my friends just, they're like, it never even occurred to me, Liz. So you can put ingredients where they're not supposed to go. I went to a Mexican restaurant a few weeks ago with some coworkers and I said, they don't have a side salad. We're back to side salads. They don't have a side salad. And my coworker said, well, do Mexican restaurants normally have side salads? And I said, well, they can make a taco salad. They can make a big salad, so why can't they make a little salad, you know? <laughs> so I've done this in other places where maybe on the menu they have black beans and some other things but didn't offer it in the pasta or didn't offer it in the salad. And so I would say, hey, instead of the chicken in this, can you replace this with the black beans? And if they say no, which actually, you know, I've never had it happen where they said no because clearly if it's on the menu in other dishes, they have it in the kitchen, so why can't they substitute in the dish that you want and make it vegetarian, right? And a side note on that, being nice goes such a long, long way. Like if you're like, I don't eat meat, you can't put this in here, you need to replace this for me, you're probably not gonna get a very good reception. I think that's why nobody's ever said no to me, unless it was literally not possible. Like in some restaurants, things, this is so I hate it when I get this answer. It freaks the hell out of me and I'm like, why am I eating here? Um, in some things, the things are already pre-mixed and they literally just take them out of the freezer and nuke them. So there's no way that they can take the meat out because they're not being made fresh to add the meat in in the first place. So just fair warning, 
You may get that answer sometimes if you ask if things can be made without the meat. But almost everything you can get made without the meat. And I do have to sacrifice sometimes in restaurants, you know, because they're not gonna have, unless you're in an Asian restaurant, tofu or other protein sources. So you may not be able to meet everything you want nutritionally, but you can definitely get things without the meat. Another resource for you, in addition to looking up menus online, you can go to Happy Cow. Um, it is, I believe it's an app and a website, and you can look up all vegetarian and vegan options um, that you're looking for. I don't use it a whole lot because I feel like you can find almost anything you want online, you know, just Google, especially if you're traveling, like vegetarian food, Las Vegas, vegetarian food, New York City, like you can find posts on almost all that stuff. So I never really feel the need to, but if you want a central source to go to, look up Happy Cow. I'll also put the link down below so that you can check it out. Now, the next one's gonna sound a little bit counterintuitive, but there is a reason for it. A lot of times I will get the meat on the side and okay, you're gonna hate me for this, sorry. I do it because they charge you the same damn thing anyway, right? So if I'm paying $12 for a pasta or $15 for a salad or whatever, and I get it without the chicken, without the beef, um, if I get it without the chicken, without the beef, or if I substitute beans or I do something, a lot of times they'll charge you extra for the substitution and they won't give you a discount for taking the meat out. Occasionally you'll get a server who's really nice and can find a way to finagle it where they can do something more basic and then add so that you're paying for what you're actually getting. But usually they just ring you up for the same price and you're getting way less in value out of it. I mean, how much more does meat cost, right? So what I do is I generally will get the meat in a separate thing to go and I will, I used to feed it to my dogs, but Anya's going on nine now and she can't have meat because she has gastritis. It's a whole deal. Um, anyway, but I'll give it to my friends. I, all my friends at this point and my brother, they know. So I'll order something on a separate, okay. I will have, this is funny, okay. Sometimes you'll go to like a Mexican restaurant and they won't have vegetable fajitas. And I'm like, that's legit, the same thing without the meat. And they're like, well, you can order it without the meat, but you know, it'll be $20 or whatever. You just don't get the chicken. So I will get it. I'll get the chicken on a separate plate. And all my friends know <laughs> that they have fair dibs on it and they all eat it. Like they know because what's the point? I'm paying for it anyway. Might as well get it and give it to someone. My last most important tip is just ask. You never know, menus do change quite a bit. So sometimes there's, you know, you see those like articles about secret menu items. A lot of times they'll still make something because they may still have the ingredients in the kitchen even though it's not technically on the menu anymore. Um, I know like this is a long time ago, but Buffalo Wild Wings used to have a veggie burger and they took it off the menu but I could still get it for like two years because I still had them in the kitchen, even though it wasn't on the menu anymore. So just ask. Another thing is some places, and this is usually with the nicer or the more upscale places, will have an allergy menu or a separate vegetarian menu. You never know. I usually have found this in like sushi restaurants, seafood restaurants. Um, those sound like the same thing. They're a little different. Steakhouses, um, places like that. A lot of times they will have a separate menu, if not for vegetarian, then for allergy. So go ahead and ask for that. And you may, you know, you may get lucky. Or the server may just have an idea. Everybody knows, not everybody. I mean, I'm in the Midwest. I don't know a ton of vegetarians. But most people know someone that doesn't eat meat or if you're working in a restaurant, has a lot of customers that ask for it, so they may have a solution you didn't even think of. So it never hurts to ask. I hope these tips help you for dining out as a vegetarian, especially if you're a new vegetarian. I know that can be difficult and that can be something that's new to navigate when you're trying to do that. Um, I was vegan for a week and a half. Yes, I've already told you about my vegan failure. I'll link the video where I talked about why I'm not vegan up above, but Eating out was so, 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 so hard as a vegan. I, if I would have stuck it out, I probably would have figured it out. Um, as a vegetarian though, I hope this helps you and these tips can work, you know, a little bit for vegans too.
Um, please, if you'd like more tips, if you'd like to connect with more vegetarians, please check out our free vegetarian food group on Facebook. I will link that down below, or you can join us on any of our socials or subscribe below this video to hear more from Veggie Every Day.